Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I'm going to try to film one more video here before I lose light um, because I haven't filmed for a while and I really miss it and I found some really great things and I'm really excited about them. If this is your first time watching, welcome so much. If you're returning, welcome to. I love talking with you guys down in the uh, comments. So let me know your thoughts on them or things that you think that I should get as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, it would really mean so much to me if you would take a minute to subscribe. Um, so this is going to be an Ulta haul. It's kind of a combination of a couple different orders from Ulta. Um, and I actually have another one coming. So watch for that one coming soon. Um, this, I used the 20% off coupon. That's why I got some different things. I found that this, this is the Real Techniques Brush Crush. It comes with this bag, which is in the background. And then three brushes, a finishing brush, a shadow brush, and a powder brush. And I'm very excited. Um, I like to use this as like a bronzer or a highlight brush, all over fluffy brush to like buff in powder and then shadow brush I always can use. So I thought these were so very beautiful. I was very excited to get those. I also picked up for filming because I never, I always run out of uh, makeup wipes and I was like, Found these they were buy one get one half off so I bought them because they were the cheapest ones and actually one of the people I watched Georgia Harris talked about these which made me happy because I just bought them these are the Tony Moly or no they're not they're skin food uh, rice brightening facial cleansing tissues you get 80 of them in a pack um, and I bought two packs of them so I will have enough uh, for a very, very long time. I also picked up a Mario Badescu anti-acne serum because I go through these about maybe every once a month or so. Um, I use it almost every single day after I put on my uh, first serum. I want to comment on this because I think it's really funny. I got this thing about trying Fat Boy because they're buy one, get one free from Ulta and it expires today. And I got it package yesterday. I'm like, that doesn't give me time to go and try. Um, and then my samples were actually pretty lame. I got two of the same one. Uh, they are different colors, um, but you kiss them, which is just weird to me. Anyway, these are Estee Lauder, the um, Pure Color Love Lipstick. Um, so those are my samples. I also got, let's see, skincare. It Cosmetics Number 50 Serum, this is the Anti-Aging Collagen Veil Primer, which I had a sample of and I was pretty impressed with it. And it does, you can do it as a dropper, which is interesting, or it does come with a pump. So you get two options with that. Um, I bought this during the 21 days of like your skin beauty products. Um, so I picked that one up because I thought it was pretty good. And then I bought a perfume because I had to, right? Because 20% off. And this is one I really wanted because it is so pretty and it smells so good. And if you know me and you've watched any of my videos, you know I love Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. This is the Soiree. I'm actually wearing Juicy Couture. You can see my sweatshirt back there. Because um, I found out at Marshalls, I was very excited. Look at the bottle. It is so beautiful has its little mask which is doesn't want to go down right at the moment there you go and it has the little harlequin mask and the little it smells so good I would recommend this one I think this one might compete with rosé and noir um because I mean the original one is good too but love it it's very it's it's not as sweet as glacé or sucre but it's good it's good then I went a little highlighter crazy. I finally picked up the Flower Beauty Trio. I have been wanting to try this for a very long time. It comes with three, but every time I went to Walmart to find it, it was never available. So those are the, wow, wow. very bright colors. Um, that is what they look like. So, we got some good glow. I'm excited to actually try those on my face. 
um, and it does come with a little brush. Then I picked up the Master Chrome. Uh, this is the Molten Rose Gold because I have the original one and it is so good. I really like it. Um, that is what this one looks like. It actually doesn't look quite as shiny, does it? But I'm excited to try that. And then my final one, because it's so pretty, it's just so pretty, is the Diamond Light by Too Faced. Look at this. Look at the packaging. This is the outer box, which I am keeping because the outer box is so cute. The inner box looks like a little ring box or jewelry box. You open it up. That is what it looks like. It is, oh, I just, ooh, you can already see it on, well, maybe you can't, but I can. Oh, swatch. It is not nearly as chunky as the two where you, like, put your finger in it and they, like, poof up and you can't, I don't, yeah, you can kind of see how much um, is there. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. So, anyway, I need to go on a highlighter, like, stop for a little bit because, man, that was like five highlighters that I just got in the past like week or two. Then I picked up a couple eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna try to pull this one open because the packaging on this one is hard. This is the Urban Decay um, Daydream eyeshadow palette, which is a collaboration with Chris Kristen Lilane. I don't know who that is. Let me know who that is, if I should know who that is. Um, it looks like frosting, which is kind of fun. And then I liked this one. I got this one because just like this is my go to. This should be my go to palette for like every day when you need a quick look um, and you need to get out of the house fast. So those are three of those shades. I just thought this is a good one. Ooh. Those went on really nice. Um, it looks patchier that brown than it does in real life. You can't really see the white, but. I'm pretty impressed with those. Those will be nice. Um, just, this is a great, like, don't have to think about it. Can just kind of throw on makeup before you run out of the house because you're running late. Because we all have that day, right? Or is that just me? It can't be just me, right? And the final thing I got was because it's so darn cute with the packaging. I feel I need to do a, um, I bought it because the packaging is so cute. So this one would be in it, right? Um, Maybe like the outer packaging, like this one could go on it too. But this one is from Lime Crime, which I hadn't, like I don't, I know that there's a lot of controversy over Lime Crime and I get that, but I just wanted this one and now I kind of want the other ones in some ways. Um, this is the Lime Crime Pocket Candy and this is Pink Lemonade. I got it because it's like Polly Pocket. Raise your hand if you had Polly Pockets, not like the big ones that they have now. The little tiny ones that had packages that were just like this. It has five sh colors in it um, and that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It looks much more one dimensional on film unfortunately but that is what they look like. Now thoughts on this. I love the mattes. The, this mat and this mat are beautiful. I really like them. This is brown sugar and this one is baby cakes i think these are beautiful um very nice go on really nice blend really nice like work really well love the mats the other three um i was struggling with i will say it um i did try to put this one underneath my eyes it didn't really show up that much so that is the pink, it actually looks better as a swatch. This ready color that is, let's see. So the pink is pink jelly and this is strawberry. The strawberry, it's not that much darker or pigmented than the pink jelly, which was really disappointing. It was supposed to be all through here and it took like, I think I need to get, like spray my brush and see if it works better that way. Cause it didn't, it doesn't even, the swatch looks much better on film, I think, than it does in real life. So I was kind of disappointed. And then if you want a chunky shade, that is what lemonade is. It looks like, can you see the texture on that on my finger? 
So it is really chunky. Um, and I just took it and patted it all over my eyes. So that is what that look is today. Um, so I was really impressed with part of it and not so impressed with part of it. I feel like I need to, it also has a ton of fallout, like lots of fallout. Um, I kept like dusting more powder under my eyes, trying to catch it all. Um, I want to, I would like to try another one to see. And I also want to work with this one some more because they aren't, they weren't quite what I was expecting in some ways. Like I heard that Lime Crime had great eyeshadows and stuff, but I was kind of like, meh overall so that is what I got from Ulta it was I mean it's a pretty expensive haul because everything I got was a little more expensive even the drugstore I'm just trying not to I want to put my hand down and I don't want to get all in my pants even the like drugstore stuff I got was not the cheapest I think this, this was 13 and this one was 10 um so it seems kind of small. Like when I look at it, I look, oh, that's not too big. And then I look at my bill and I'm like, ooh. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are. If you want, if you'd like to see things that I bought because of the packaging, if that would be a series that you would like to see, or if there's something else that you would like me to do. Um, I don't really do tutorials because honestly, I don't feel like I am that great at makeup. Um, I'm, I'm trying, I struggle. Uh, I'm on the struggle bus with that. Um, but like, if you would like to see something or you want me to review something, let me know. I would be happy to do that. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll talk to you guys next time.